Hi everyone, welcome to Knowledge Center. Today we shall discuss about an important topic in the clipper that is transfer characteristic. So in this video you are going to learn what is the definition of transfer characteristic and how to plot the transfer characteristics and finally you will also learn the re way of reading the transfer characteristics. So let's begin with the definition of transfer characteristics. So transfer characteristic is nothing but it's a graphical representation of output variable against the input variable. So generally when we talk about the clipper circuits we will finally we will plot the output voltage okay or output current. So we will have some output variable. We have plotted a waveforms in the previous videos also. So that waveforms will be represented in the form of a graphical representation. There we will have an output variable against and a input variable. That is the definition, a single line definition. Now to understand the way of plotting a traffic uh, transfer characteristics, we will take up one simple example here. So let me consider one circuit and we will solve the problem and then finally we will draw the transfer characteristics. Let's see how to do that. So I will take one simple parallel circuit which we have discussed in the previous sessions also. Let me take a diode like this and let's consider this as the reference voltage. Say so this is input voltage. Here I will plot the input. Say so this input is sine waveform and it is of uh, say assume that it is 15 volt. This will be minus 15 volt. Input is 15 volt and you need to find what is the output. Say so this is silicon diode. Assume this as a 3 volt. I will consider this as minus plus 3 volt and this is silicon diode. So very first step what we used to do over there, we represent this with its equivalent circuit. So remove the diode and it is a silicon diode. So put its voltage barrier. So we plot it like this. We can just get it as like this. Here we have cathode. So we will have negative terminal there and we have anode. So this is going to be positive. And the reference voltage will be represented as represented as it is. So this is 3 volt. Here we have 0.7 volt as drop. Plus, minus, plus, minus. And read it like this. When we read it like this, we get an expression as plus to minus. So minus 3 and plus to minus, minus 0 0.7. Total minus 3.7 volt is the voltage what we are going to have at this point. And what is this? Anode. So anode is having minus 3.7. That is the concept. We are giving minus 3.7 volt at anode. So we got the condition. Now using that you should write at what condition the diode is going to on and off. So for that I will write it like this. If input. So where do we give the input? We are giving input to cathode terminal. And cathode terminal should be under lower value. If it is less than the anode voltage, then it will conduct. So if V in is less than, if V in is less than or equal to, whenever diode is on, you put equal sign. If it is less than the voltage, what we have here? So what is the voltage here at anode? Minus 3.7 volt. If V in is less than minus 3.7 volt, then diode is on. Diode is on. Diode is on. If cathode is less than anode, diode will be on. And what would be the output? At this condition, output will be equal to, if this is on, it is just like a this one. We will get the voltage whatever we have here. So output voltage will be equal to this voltage. And what is the voltage we have here? That is minus 3.7. So output, output will be minus 3.7 volt. Next, we have another condition when diode is off. Just reverse it. If diode is, if V in is, greater than minus 3.7. Now what happens? Cathode will have greater voltage than the anode. Cathode will have higher potential compared to anode. Then diode is off. If diode is off, we will get open circuit. So output will just follow the input. So whatever the input we had, it will follow the output. Output will follow it. Therefore, V out is equal to V in and here diode is off. So this was clearly explained in the previous video. Right? You can just go through that part also. So here diode is off and we got V out is equal to V in. These are the two conditions. Now let's come to this picture 
where we draw the output waveform. After plotting the output waveform, we need to plot the transfer characteristics. So, to plot the transfer characteristic, before that, let us plot the output waveform. If this is the input waveform, so let me erase this portion here, and I will put, I will keep this portion as it is. So here, let me take this as input as 15 volt and minus 15 volt. This was minus 15 and this was the plus 15. Now, what would be the output? First, you need to identify the cutoff cut voltage that is minus 3.7. That is the voltage, right? Okay, so minus 3.7, highlight it. So, it is a negative. So, in this region, we get it. So, somewhere here, so this is minus 3.7. Minus 3.7. This voltage is minus 3.7. And now, look at this condition. If diode is on, so at what condition diode is on? If V in is lesser than minus 3.7. So this is the reason. We, if input is less than below this line, then diode is on and output is constant. Right? So only for this portion, this is the portion which is less than the input. So only for this portion, we get output as minus 3.7, output as constant. Okay, so you can put one constant line here. If we go beyond, if it is increasing, means if it is greater than minus 3.7, and this is the region. Whatever the picture I have here, this is above 3.7. So, if input is greater than that, output will just follow the input. So, just you plot as it is what we have as an input. So, output will be just following the input. It will be like this. Up to, up to this point. Below this, it will be constant because if it is less than, output will be minus 3.7. And up to this point. Then again, it will be continuing like this. So, the finally output will be, output waveform is this. So, I will plot it here. This is what the output waveform is. This is what the output waveform is. This is the reference line. Right. So, now we got the concept of output waveform. Let us understand how to plot the transfer characteristics using this. So, to get the transfer characteristic, let me keep this portion as it is and let us see how to plot the transfer characteristics. So, transfer characteristics will be plotted between output variable and input variable. So, what is the output here? V out. And what is the input? V in. So, let me have a better space. So, I will use this portion. So, we had output and input. So, this is output voltage. This is input voltage. This is positive axis. This is minus V in. This is minus V out. So, in this, while plotting the transfer characteristics, first you just need to highlight this point, right? What is that voltage we, we have the where the diode is on and off? That is minus 3.7. That we can call it as a change over voltage. So minus 3.7. So plot, find out that point in the input. This is input. This is positive input. This is negative input. So somewhere say here, minus 3.7. So this is minus 3.7. Just put a dotted line over there. Expand it. So this is an indication that we, uh, this is minus 3.7. So I can write it here. This is minus 3.7 volt. So, and then what you need to do is, diode is on when V in lesser than minus 3.7. So we get this region. So this region is lesser than minus 3.7 and this region is above minus 3.7. So this region, what you can say, diode at this region, if it is less than 3.7, diode is on. So, diode is on. D is on. When diode is on, we call it as a clipping region because it is clipping this portion and we got only constant output. So, we can also name it as a clipping region. And when, if it is reverse, if it is greater than minus 3.7, then diode is off. So, this region you can say from here to here, you can say further D is off. Or you can say transmit region. It is just transmitting the input as an output. Now, how to plot the uh, graph? Let us see that. How to plot it? So, I have identified 3.7 here, minus 3.7. If input is less than minus 3.7 in this region, what would be the output? Output is also minus 3.7. So, in this region, output would be minus 3.7. So, this is V out. This is minus V out. So, somewhere here you get minus 3.7. 
So plot it. Just point it out. So this is minus 3.7 old and expand it. It will come and join at this point. So we got input minus 3.7 and output is also minus 3.7. So at this point we got it. So now this is a point where change is taking place. So if input is less than this, output is D is on and what is output? Output is just constant minus 3.7. So here I can just plot it like this. If input is less than this region, output will remain constant and that is minus 3.7. So output remains constant, that is minus 3.7. When you go beyond like this, when you, you go on reducing the voltage less than this, it will be just constant. But once if we increase it, if it is more than that, then diode is on, sorry, diode is off. If diode is off, output will follow the input, right? So the slope means we have to plot a slope here. Slope is nothing but change in output by change in input. If this input increases, output also increases at this condition, right? So we get slope as 1. So from here, we will plot a slope like this. So transfer characteristic is nothing but it is just a presenting this sine waveform in the form of a slopes, right? Here I got slope as 1. The slope will be 1 if diode is off, if output and input are same. Here, the slope is 0 here. You can understand here, the slope is 0. So that's why we got the constant line. Because there is no variation in the output. Even if you vary the input, if I say minus 3.7, okay, if I say minus 5 here, I'm changing the input. But whatever the voltage beyond this, if it is less than this, output remains same. So there is no variation in the output. This is constant. So slope, when you derive it, constant value will get slope as 0. So slope will remain 0. If output, if diode is on, if diode is on and slope remains 1 if diode is off and if it's point, these points are most important, you should point it out and represent it. This is how you need to draw it for parallel clipper. Okay. So this is what the concept is. So I think it is clear how to draw the graphical representation, how to get the transfer characteristics. Now let us come to the last concept that is how to read it. So what to be understood by using this transfer characteristics? Okay, don't just stop it here. You watch till the end there. Hmm? So now let's see. By looking into transfer characteristics, we can identify what kind of a clipper circuit it is. What kind of a clipper circuit it is. So here look into this. We have a slope in the positive region. Whereas at the negative side, we don't have anything here. So we can, by looking into this portion, we can understand that it is clipping at the negative side, not in the positive side. So this clipper is a negative clipper. This is a negative clipper. If I get the constant at this part, if I get the slope like this, then I can say at the negative side I have the variation, but at the output positive side I have clipping, I have constant. So positive clipper, this will be positive clipper. If I say like this, if I get like this, here we have constant in positive as well as constant in negative. So we call this as a double-ended clipper. Double-ended clipper till we have not explained about that. So in further sessions, I will give a information about that. So don't worry. So transfer characteristics will give a clear idea about what kind of a circuit it is. I think this is clear for you guys. If it is clear, like the video, share among your friends and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.